So I suppose the critical thing is why are we writing this report? It's to provide that hard evidence of what is happening now because those making decisions, policy decisions about this, they need to make decisions based on the hard evidence of what we are seeing. Um, you know, the, this report, State of UK Climate, is about what is already happening, what has already happened in the UK, but obviously here we are looking at projections out to the end of the century and beyond as well. Thank you very much, Mike. That was really interesting. Before you go, um, were there any surprises from this year's report? Obviously, it's an annual report, so you do them every year. Were there any surprises, anything you did differently this year? Well, we've included some new analysis, in particular looking at the uh, extreme, the frequency and intensity of temperature extremes, um, and in fact, the monthly rainfall extremes that we've not looked at before. Look, this is a monitoring report from one year to the next. It's perhaps not surprising that the main message um, is broadly similar from one year to the next. But I think what I find, uh, and I will use this word alarming, is, is the rate of change that we are seeing and the implications that we can see that are going to play out um, you know, for our society. But as I say, going back to the science, the critical thing is that decisions that are made are made based on the best available science evidence.